Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. So today we are going to start with something different. Um, I have never talked about it earlier. The reason to talk about it today is because Kaspersky has moved their almost every feature of um, the administration console to web. It's not new, it has been moved since long, but it wasn't mature, I feel, at that point of time. But now the need has come to understand Kaspersky Web Console, Administration Server Web Console. So when you install Kaspersky along with Web Console, the first page without even launching Kaspersky Security Center, if you come to Web Console, you will see this page where it will show you the quick start visit of administration server. Just in case at first state where you were launched and you have by mistake canceled this part, um, it's not a problem, you can always come back to it. You have option over here. Uh, you click on the setting sign and then you have it within general, you can see start quick start visit and you will come to this and same goes the people who know already security center they must know um, they would be knowing of course uh, that when you used to install Kaspersky security center as a fresh um, Kaspersky security center while logging in will uh, come up with getting started visit kind of stuff like same quick start visit so now this time let's do it from here itself let's forget about security center administration console and let's talk about from the web console itself the easiest way to access web console is that you can access it from anywhere any browser with the port which you have configured during the installation but when we used to do through administration server console then we had to install the console separately to each machine so web service will allow you to eliminate the need of installing um, console to any other machines so let's say um, this is the first page where we are landed after installing it we'll click on start over here so first of all do we need any proxy in order to connect to internet to download any settings or anything we will um, come over here if we require, we'll provide the use proxy server. Otherwise, we'll click on next over here. Now it will start downloading your required updates and information and so on and so forth. I'm going to click on next because this can happen in the background. Now assets to secure, what are you planning to secure in terms of assets? Do you have any other operating system? Do you have file server and storages? I am just going to click on file server and storages rest everything I'll leave I'm not going to choose any other operating system over here for now I'm going to click on next over here now over here uh, it says that Kaspersky application for protection areas that you selected includes cryptographic tools and whether you would like to go for encryption in solution downloading and using the distribution package uh, with the 256 bit key uh, length must comply with applicable laws because not every country allows you to use strong encryption so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use strong encryption and I'm going to click on next over here now you see installation of plugins for managed applications which are required um, later I'm going to talk about EDR optimum um, so I'm going to download these plugins from internet and this is what I would prefer to have with me and point detection and response comes with Kaspersky endpoint agent 3.11 and onwards of course I'm going to talk about it in my later series um, but right now we are just going to click on all four of them and just click next over here so when you have done this what it will do it will install the plugin for all what you have selected it might take little time based on the internet speed 
of course because it has to download those plugins and install it by the way if you have not installed it now it's never too late you can come again to plugins and you can install these plugins at any given point of time so we have to wait for it meanwhile we are waiting for it if you have not subscribed to my channel just click click on subscribe and turn notifications on so that you can get my latest tutorials and any videos I'm preparing and posting it for you guys so of course we are waiting for it and I'll just pause the recording till the point we have got this downloaded and installed now as you can see that the installing of uh, software is done I mean the plugins is done and we have got the notification that installation of plugin is completed successfully so now what we are going to do is we are going to click on next over here so now if you would like to download and create download and create the installation packages for certain products you can do it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Kaspersky Endpoint Agent 3.0 I'm going to click on Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Windows 11.6.0 which is the latest till now and I'm going to click on server Kaspersky security for Windows server also this will again take a bit of time because all three packages are more than all together maybe around 900 MB or something so we can click on next and continue we can do it later also but because I wanted to show you how the procedure is I'm going to click on next over here and then I'll pause the recording till we have these downloaded so we just need to follow these wizard to accept the uh, network statement uh, this is KSN uh, one one time I've been asked that why do we need K is it mandatory or do we need to have it or not it's up to you KSN is kind of a cloud a more um, so if you have any file which has uh, which is not known to your Kaspersky and we are not able to detect it on premise uh, KSN cloud is something where many different customers they upload their f new files detected and then Kaspersky analyze it over there and then provide the verdict so it's good to have it recommended also and we'll click on next over here now next part is to add the license key I can add the license key later or I can just simply click on add key file and select key files so I'm coming over here now I have licenses available over here I have EDR optimum I have Kaspersky security center and I have workstation and file server um, you can see that license is there I have capability to automatically distribute license key you might be observing the people who have already seen Kaspersky security center administration console that it is almost similar to the one which we had earlier like the console one I'm going to click on next over here now search for updates and install them use WSUS server this is for update management server we'll keep it default we are not going to change anything over here for now next now basic protection configuration um, it will allow us to create some tasks uh, it will allow us to create default policies and so on and so forth like we used to have it in administration server so I'm going to click on create over here also so you see it is just creating different tasks and then later it would be creating the policy for Kaspersky endpoint security for Windows 11.6 so you might have observed that along with the task it has also created two different policies one for Windows Server 
and one for endpoint security just to let you know these two products are different so we need policy separately for each one of them click next over here over here you can provide the notification email addresses and SMTP details and then you can test it but for now I'm going to click on next and move to the next page now I have capability to do network poll to detect devices in my network or I can just simply click next the next is if I would like to run the protection deployment wizard or I can click on finish let's run the protection deployment wizard and click on finish now this has open protection deployment wizard now what I would like to install so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use network agent okay and click on next do not add license to installation package or add license to a key to the installation package both are possible I'm going with this approach though it is not recommended so that you should do it later but I can do it let's do it without it both are same we can create the task later to push the activation key also so let's do it this way install on managed devices or select devices for installation you can do both over here you can provide the IP IP range IP address with NetBIOS name and things like that or if you have already unassigned machines available you can get it from your Active Directory and so on and so forth because we have not run any uh, discovery so we do not have any but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make use of IP range click next I know the IP of my machines so I'm just going to put the IP range near to the same let's click OK next let's try to run name it I mean you have to name this task I'm just stating remote installation task using network agent because we do not have network agent already we have to uncheck this using operating system resource through administration server this is what we can do also and assign package installation directory through Active Directory group policies also do not reinstall application if it is already installed so all these things are possible let's do next over here prompt user for action if restart is required and so on and so forth wait time before force closure of application I'm not changing anything over here just clicking next over here would you like to move this machine after getting installed to any group for now I only have managed group we can do it if we already have network agent installed then no account required but because we do not have network agent installed I'm going to put the account over here and basically I wanted to use domain administration account let's try if I have okay click OK now click next run the task after the visit finishes okay this task might fail the reason because my IP address I'm not sure if it is correct or not but we'll get to know if it is successful or not we close this and we come to operations 
you can see all our repositories, third party application, licensing details, Kaspersky applications which we have, all those things are available over here. And if I go to discovery and deployment, I'll be able to see if there are any discovery which we have run or if I want to run discoveries and so on and so forth. I can do it from here itself. So, so you can come over here in tasks for example under devices you will find tasks and in here in the task you should be able to see all the tasks which you have created. So if you see over here we have lots of tasks which were created automatically on demand scan, database update, vulnerability, require updates this is what we have just created and you see it has failed let's click on it and verify what has happened over here two of them failed results we can verify and we can see the device may have been disconnected from the network so that means the IP addresses which we provided are not basically alive IP addresses so we can come over here verify a few things account is okay select the devices that will be assigned let me try to delete these try to add another one okay and click OK save it and let's go back to our tasks and click on remote installation task this time it is scheduled already okay you can click on this and we can start this task and when we are running this task we have capability to look at results and we can go and look at view results over here it's almost same you remember in administration console also we had the same kind of capabilities so what it will do it will install my network agent on that particular machine and as you can see the task is running and it is copying the file to specified device once it is copied then it will run the installation so this is the procedure how we go about it I am going to stop this video recording over here and we are going to talk about how to push complete package along with network agent and endpoint security in our next tutorial thank you so much for watching this walkthrough please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which i'm talking about Thank you and stay blessed.